All right, it looks like we are live. This is wonderful. Hope everyone is having a great day. Hi, Robin. I hope you're. I hope it's warmer where you are than it is here today. Um, we had a return to winter, <laughs> which is kind of funny. All right. Anyways, I'll just uh, give a couple seconds for people to get uh, online, and then we're going to get started. Oh, hi, Anne. All right, people are coming online. Wonderful. Well, welcome to Wacky Wednesday today. Hi, Sandy A. Happy belated birthday. Um, today on Wacky Wednesday, we are going to revisit a few things. The Return of the Flying Geese, Part 1. I get to come back tomorrow. Hi, Lynn, and do part two tomorrow. Isn't that exciting? Anyways, welcome everyone to Wacky Wednesday at my sewing room. Thank you for joining us either on Facebook or YouTube. Hi, Agnes. Um, we are here to say special shout outs to people. Are you ready? Hi, Lynn. Lynn's there. So a special shout out to Ruth C, Tina B, Lynn S, Sandy A, who had a birthday yesterday, happy birthday, Ann L, Chris L, Agnes C, I see she's back on, Carol M, and I hope James's tryouts went really well, to Carol G, Robin S, hi Robin again, Teresa W, Loann F, Nancy C, Vicki S, Vivian H, Carol B, Wendy W, and then, of course, all of our furry friends, right? Not, not the first people, but the second part of this is furry friends. Carol, Paul, and Olivia, the super dog. Glenn, Mike, and Peanut, my favorite Flames fan. Mary Zed with Oliver and Olivia. Still haven't heard Mary who the new puppy is. Jean, Maui, Jim, Yeager, and Mila, who is a new, new member of their family. And, of course, to Anne, Michael, and our own Max here at the store. Those are some special shout outs and very happy that you could be here. Um, it looked like spring was about to get here and then all of a sudden it, it had, Mother Nature had other ideas. I've got to tell you, um, I caught a Canada goose in come flying from the south how we came north today and we hit calgary and there was terrible turbulence yes and i gotta tell you it was buffeting us back and forth it's so bad it gave me goosebumps so today i'm here as miss sandy goose because we want to talk about more animal things we're treating the return of flying geese oh lynn has a puppy too and lynn's puppy's name is bobbin i love it bobbin that is that is a great name right too just too cute this is of course animal month so that's why we're swinging back and visiting um you know the animals so i thought we could do the return of flying geese Earlier this year, I, I showed you how to make flying geese using the Debbie Tucker wing clipper. Well, for this project, I can't use a wing clipper because I only want to make one block of each color that I'm doing. And the wing clipper makes four at a time. So I'm going to show you, just review with you, how to make the uh, half square triangle flying geese. Okay, all right, so what we're going to need today, because I'm going to show you our project. Let's have a look at all the lovely things that are on the table here. We have a pattern, and the pattern is called Baby Goose. It's running dough quilts from Vila Rosa Design. And I was asking everybody if I had a pretty quilt that I could uh, hang up in my area. And lo and behold, there was a a baby goose quilt already made and you can see the lovely flying geese through the middle of it so we're actually going to make my version of this quilt today so that's fun all right so we've got our pattern i picked out some fabrics from our defiance bundle 
from my sewing room, we have the fat quarter bundle called Canadian Cash because it does kind of look like our phony baloney money colors, right? So I did that and then I selected as my other contrast fabric, the gray in that line of glaze. So that's really pretty. I really like that. So there we picked our fabrics for this for this baby goose. Uh, of course, we're going to need our rulers. We've got a long ruler. We've got a square. We've got our cutter. We have scissors. We have a pen and we have pins. So these are all of the things plus a, plus a mat plus our ironing board and iron, plus today I'm using the Brother NQ900. It's called The Stylist. So that's what we're going to be using today. And we're going to make a few flying geese and we're going to make this quilt. And we're going to do it over two days. Oh, Olivia wants to come and see me. I think that would be so fantastic to have. The puppies are allowed at the store. I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, we love seeing the puppies. So if anybody has one that they'd like to bring in and show us, we're here for it. Okay. All right. So let's get started. First off, I think I need to tell you another crazy joke, right? Did you know that it was also bat, National Bat Appreciation Day? And I thought, yeah, I could have come as a vampire, but I prefer to be kind of like a mother goose. And, you know, so anyway, Sandy Goose is good. All right. So what language do Brazilian geese speak? They speak Portuguese. <laughs> oh, and I told you already what, what the turbulence was like while riding a flying geese. It's called, you know, goosebumps. Yeah, goosebumps it is. Okay, let's get started making our quarter um, square half triangle. <laughs> How about a half square triangle? All right, here we go. So let's get rid of this for right now. We're going to pick our fabric. And of course, this is my contract, contrast fabric, which is the back, I guess it's the main feature fabric. And then I'm going to make my geese out of this um, lovely colored stuff. So they tell us to put it right sides together. And then what we do is we make a diagonal line from one corner to the other. And I realize as, as I'm doing this that my blue pen, which I use as my marker, may not show up that well to you. But I was smart this time and I changed the thread in my uh, machine so that you'd be able to see the stitch line, which is mm, smarter thinking than the last time I did it and we did it in white and couldn't see a darn thing. All right, so let's open up our marker. We're just gonna mark the diagonal. all right so there it is we've made a diagonal line and we're going to sew on either side so quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on this side are you ready let's head to our sewing machine and as i said i put in some really nice bright kind of ready oh this stool is really high maybe i'll just sew standing up oh we need our quarter inch piecing foot on our machine this is a fun machine. It has little drop-on feet, so they just clip on the little bar, which I'm so good at doing. I do like this little Brother NQ900 because it does have scissors. It has needle up and down. You can push your go button. I have the pedal on today so that I can be a little more controlled. And I've set my speed at half. All right, so let's line this up. We need a quarter inch seam. Oh, where's my little, I lost my little thready guy. All right, do it without it. Quarter inch on each side. So here we go. Put that little guy down and away we go. All right, and it feeds it nicely under there. Quarter inch following along that lovely blue line that I just put on. This is fun. Isn't it fun? We're going very speedy, flying very fast. 
and right to the end perfect and then we'll cut it i love having the scissors that's one thing my bernina at home does not have is scissors and i really do miss it and you can see now the really bright line of stitching and it's a quarter inch from the blue so let's go now a quarter inch on this side all right here we go again this is so much fun making flying geese So April has been a fun month, has it not? We've had 18 degrees Celsius, and today we're at minus, I don't know, maybe we might have even made it to one, but we had snow flurries, and we had, you know, ooh, snow and wind and everything. It's just amazing what you get in springtime in Alberta. All right, so we now have both lines done we now cut on that lovely blue line so we cut it in half use that rotary cutter and the big long cutter and we cut boom and there is two half square triangles now you open them up and you can see they're half and half half gray and half orange in this case how lovely okay now she recommends when you do this to Iron your seam open. So we are going to do that. We're going to, to iron our seam open. So we'll take our iron. This is where I might burn myself. Set your seam. Okay, so that is nice and set. And then you have to open it up. And we're going to press these seams open. So get it started right there. And then as you go, just hold it a few secs at each spot, press it down, and just keep going. I gather this is to reduce some of the bulk in the seam of the flying geese when we hook them together. So we're just going to iron that out, press it out, open that seam up. All right. Oop. And then I wiggled it anyways. Okay, and let's do the other one. Set the seam first. Okay, and then let's open it up. And press open the seam. All right. Okay, takes my, my fingers a little second to get that seam back open again. Oh, come on, little baby. Okay, this little goose, this little gosling is just, hmm, giving me a little grief from getting those feathers separated. Okay, here we go. There we got it started now. Let's have a move it up so you can actually see I'm pressing open the seam. That would be good. Sometimes it's hard when I'm doing it to see what views you guys are getting. Finish pressing open that seam. Now you're going to notice on here that they've got little ends on these little seams. So we have to square these. And she tells us in her instructions what to square it to. So here comes my big ruler. We'll move our ironing board out of the way for a moment. Go back to our cutting board. And we have to square our half square triangles that are now squares. Now they're on your board you should find a diagonal line that runs the length of the board and that's what we're going to use and we're going to use it on this seam and that will make us all nice and straight now let's get this okay, so i'm going to start there now for this block they're asking me to cut it to seven and a half so what i'm doing is i'm just putting it in here boop, boop, boop. guess we should get to the seven and a half mark run your diagonal line on there right down that diagonal seam and we'll just have a look and what we want to do is make sure that we're trimming it a little bit off each side so that it's we don't take it all off the gray side or all off the orange side so kind of even it out and then just stroke two strokes now we have a nice 90 degree corner 
on our diagonal so we can flip that down to the bottom use that diagonal again to line this up and we want to go to seven and a half so we'll line up those lines for seven and a half okay and we'll trim off the excess and now our block is seven and a half by seven and a half okay sweet so there he is there's one so let's quickly do the other one so start with following the diagonal with the diagonal on your your ruler your square we're looking to set it at seven and a half but we want to take a make sure that we're taking some off each side when we do it and not off all of it at once Okay, and it's diagonally square. This one's pretty darn close. So maybe we just have to do a little bit and a little bit, and we might be okay. All right, let's measure this way now and make sure seven and a half using that diagonal. Measure seven and a half, seven and a half. There we are. Beautiful. We just have a few little tags hanging out there. So let's just make sure we get those little flying geese corners off. All right, so we have two beautiful blocks now to make our first flying geese. Goose, I guess it is. A little goose. All right, so we don't want it to look like that. I had one that looked like that. Sadly, I put one together that was wrong side up. So, but we want the colored pieces to be the flying geese, the point of the flying geese. So, this guy and this guy. So, we're just going to line those up and we're going to sew a quarter inch down that seam. All right, so we're headed back to our sewing machine. I'm just going to put a few pins on this edge. Remember, as Ann says, to put the feather, the flower part to the outside so it's easy to pull out as you're sewing on your machine. We don't want to sew over our pins. All right, let's go back to our machine and let's do one more seam. Okay, so we're doing quarter inch again. And we're doing, just going to collect up these guys, make them nice and neat, and here we go. Oh. I think we're going, aren't we going? Yes. Okay, we're going. Sort of going. I think we're stuck on us something here. Needle up. Yeah, I got a little bit of a hairball. Let's just cut our hairball off and get started again. I've lost my little piece of fabric that I use as my leader. And I don't know where it went. So we'll just, we'll do it again. Okay. We'll start in a little bit closer because I don't have my little leader okay come on you like it you like to eventually get over that little lump he does not like my lump and now i've made a nice hairy mess you know what these are these are the teaching moments i'm just going to trim that guy off and let me see if i can find a leader for us i think i have lost it somewhere in my mess it was here. I don't know where it's gone now. Okay, we'll try it again. Give it a little bit more space. Get it started a bit better. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. It just does not want to get over that lump. Humpy lump. What's the matter? Okay. Oh, I got just shreddy goobies here. All right. I need that piece of fabric, which has gone totally missing. I don't know where it went. You know what? I have other pieces of fabric, so let's just use this guy as my leader, and we'll get him to lead on. Normally, I have a leader ready to go, but I seem to have lost him today. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this to go this time. Oh, a little crookedy. All right, here we go. 
Now we're going. Now it's loving me a little bit. Do you know I can't pull pins and sew at the same time when I'm standing up? That is what I've learned. To the end. Beautiful. Okay, and cut. Beautiful. Let's go see what we got. All right. Back to the back to the front. While we're while we're coming back to the front, I want to tell you another joke. Is that okay? You know, I just bought a new goose, but it's massive. It's humongous. Or goose. I guess it's humongous. Gosh, I tell good jokes too, don't I? All right, so now we have our little block. We are going to just now get out our ironing board again and iron it open. I have way too much stuff, don't I? Way too much stuff here. Ironing board, here we come again. Okay, top down, here we go. Move all of the paperwork out of the way. Oh, there's the little guy that was supposed to be over at the sewing machine. All right, here we go. So let's press that seam. All right, good. And Chelsea said, you know what, you could probably press this seam open too. I didn't on the other one, but we can certainly do that on this one as well. And press it open. Press it open as well. All right, beautiful. Press it open. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Are you ready for the unveil? Ta-da! Isn't he a lovely flying goose? He's beautiful. Okay, so our next step would then be to, to attach all of our flying geese. Now, I've made them all different colors. So now this guy, I would just sew him on. I'm going to put him on the top. I like him up here maybe. So then I would just sew him to this. And that's the one thing about sewing it the other way is they don't lock seams if you got it open. Just going to press, put a pin in here. And match it up with this guy on the back. Okay. Let's see if we can get that straight. So if you put it right down that seam line and pop it out on the other seam line, it seems to make sure that those guys are centered. There. Okay. Now we just need a little, put a little pin on this side to hold them together. And we're going to have another one over here and hold it together. And then we're going back one more time to sew with enthusiasm. Okay, here we go. Back over here. Let's do a little sewing. Put that guy down. We got our leader now. Yay. All right, start it on its quarter inch. All right, just keep sewing. Beautiful. So we made it. We're going down the quarter inch road here with the flying geese. Okay, now we're coming to the center, which has got a bit of a knob in it. So we want to make sure the seam is laying flat and we don't have it twisted. And we're just going to go over that. Oh, we didn't like that. It's kind of thick that way, isn't it? Okay. Little machine. Don't be mean. There we go. He didn't quite like that thickness, did he? There was too much bulk. Guess I should flatten all the seams out. Less bulk, less trouble getting over them. I have to say my brain, it doesn't have that problem. Okay. All right, there we go to the end. Boop, one more stitch and cut. All right, now we have a long line of, of flying geese. Okay, let's see how it's looking. All right, I lost scissors. Let's cut that with the thing, rotary cutter. Okay, are you ready? Here it comes, the flying geese. It's coming along quite nicely, isn't it? There they go. So this is going to be this part of the quilt. As you can see, I did it in very bright colors from the glaze line, but that's going to be our first line. And I will finish making flying geese at home so you don't have to watch me painfully make so much. But you're right. 
I just love flying geese too, Vicky. Yes, I do indeed. Yes, hi, Carol. Hi, Loann. Thank you for my boat. Oh, hi, Sandy from Jesse and I. It's snowing here. You know what? It snowed here this morning too, but it was the wind that was kind of, and I think it's still kind of chilly. So winter has returned, or sprinter, as they say on those commercials. Anyway, so that's how we make our quarter uh, half square triangle flying geese. So tomorrow we put the rest of the quilt together. All right, so that's going to be for <gasps> tomfoolery Thursday tomorrow. But I got, I've got, to, I've got to ask you, what did Mother Goose name her son? Ryan Gosling. Isn't that funny? Mm. I have a racing goose for sale. Does does it let me know if you want to take a quick gander? I know. And if you thought those were funny, stay tuned until tomorrow when I have some more of those lovely, wonderful goose jokes for you. All right. So that's the start of our uh, baby goose pattern. We've got our, our um, flying geese ready for tomorrow. And then we're going to put that quilt together. And I've got some questions for you for tomorrow. So be prepared to come with an answer for me. All right. So what did I need to tell you? That I hope everybody checked their e-news because there was a coupon that went out yesterday in your e-news so check it um it's an offer for both in store and online so if you didn't find it please click on your look in your spam folder and see if you got it anyways that was kind of fun all right what i want to tell you well we're working on that doom and gloom defiance project so I've actually now, this is my second project that I've got going for this. And I heard somebody else, he, he has already got two or three projects underway. So, hey, well done, you guys, for these. Remember that you pick a bundle, you create anything you like, send us a picture by May 6th. Um, we'll put out all of them, the fans vote, and then we've got some prizes for you. So, I think education at mysewingroom.ca is where you want to send your pictures. I had a few that came to order desk at mysewingroom.ca, which is fine because we just forwarded them on. Either place will get them. All right. Okay. So what else is going to happen? Well, let's see. Um, we have some... Bernina classes, if you're a new owner, I also saw they put some brother ones out there as well for the new owner classes for sewing and embroidery. Um, if anyone's interested in making tuffets, that's going on this week, uh, April, next week, April 23rd, 25th, and 28th. So if you're interested, and what else can I tell you? Um, coming up very soon, and I'll talk more about it tomorrow, is another... Uh, Rob from Trentex presentation, and it's all about behind the seams, exploring quilt backing and batting. And tomorrow we'll go into that a little bit more because we'll be doing some backing tomorrow. So that would be kind of interesting. That is on May 3rd at the store. So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. All right, my beautiful little ducklings, my lovely little goslings. Um, that's it for making fat quarters to, today. Tomorrow we'll put it together, and I hope you come back and join me then. All right, thanks, everybody. You have a good evening. Keep warm if you're here in Calgary. And I hope it doesn't stop snowing everybody else and the sun comes out. And yes, I'm Mother Goose. I'm, I'm actually Sandy Goose today, but close, right? It's, I, I can't steal her shtick, but I can have my own. <laughs>